Welcome to my tutorial on using Adobe Spark. And for this particular tutorial, I'm going to be discussing Spark Post since we're going to be creating a graphic for our humans of New York or whichever city you're part of global project that we are working on. So Spark, Adobe Spark is a great free tool and you can access it at spark.adobe.com that allows you to create stunning visuals, beautiful web pages, and really, really, really dynamic graphics. And that's what we're going to look at right now. So to get started, you're going to go to this little plus button and you're going to choose custom size graphic. And here you can decide what size you want your graphic to be. So I'll just go to these standard sizes and I'm going to choose slide. I'll just do a very basic slide. So a four by three slide and it opens up and it's pretty straightforward. If you can click on the area, you can edit it. That's what I always say. So if I want to click on this main canvas area, I can click it. I can change the picture. I can add an image. I can add a text or a photo or an icon. Um, and if I want to change like the layout, I can go out of it and I can choose a different layout and kind of even add a little more, uh, make it a little more dynamic. And since you are going to be discussing your city or a bit more about yourself, you might want to add a few images to give your story a little more context. So I'm going to choose a different layout so I can add multiple layers to my visual. So I chose that graphic and I'm going to go back on here. And when I click on this area over here, if I go to image, I can add an image right in there. So it'll size it accordingly if you do it this way. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to upload a photo. In this case, this is going to be a photo that I have on my computer that I want to share. So this is myself and my son. So if I was going to put that in, I would upload it. There we are. And now I want to talk a little bit about where I'm from. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go add a photo. I'm going to go find free photos. And I'm going to share a photo. Oh, so see, right off the bat, I didn't do that one right. So if I were to just do it that way and not click on it the way I did first, I'll show you what happens. Actually, it's probably good to see the difference. So here it says add to collage. Or here it says move freely. So I'm going to go add to collage. There, it does it automatically. So it knows that you where, you know, where it would best go. So it will help figure that out with you. So it's just really great. And so I can go in here now. I can add some text. So I'm going to add a little bit of text over here. And I'm going to say humans of Montreal, Kenya, Everett. And maybe I don't like that style. So what I can do is go to the style feature and I can change it. And what this is so cool because this will give you a whole bunch of different options that you can choose from that you didn't even know probably that you had. And it basically just mixes from the different types and colors and shapes all together. So I actually like this one. So I'm going to keep that one. I like the way it looks. And then I'm going to add another, uh, and maybe over here I would add more text and maybe I'll give it, um, you know, add a few points about myself or, or maybe I'll add another photo. So I'm going to leave that open for now. I can change the color, make it, you know, you know, I can pretty much do anything I want over here and, um, and make it my own. But this is such a great way of kind of pulling together different elements to talk a little bit about yourself and to create a visual in a really visually compelling way that you then can go and download. 
So I can save it as a PNG or a JPEG, and then I'd be able to upload it inside of my book creator. So I know that there is another video that will walk you through how to kind of pull it all together. And please be sure to check that one out so you know how to kind of tie it all together. So thanks for joining. I didn't want to give you too much because I want you to make this your own. There are so many different layouts and so many design options and so many templates that you could choose from that the sky is really the limit. Do make this your own. And I look forward to seeing all of your books.